what's going on friends? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you lot are all doing well, man. And welcome to today's video, which is about strikers. The most exciting position on a football pitch, maybe. Or the most important, maybe. Anyway, Chelsea need goals. Goals come from strikers usually, right? It's been a weird sort of story for Chelsea Football Club over the last couple of decades for centre-forwards. I've had a couple of like notable ones, probably most notably Drogba and Diego Costa, but still, they've gone for a lot of bad strikers. And at the moment, Chelsea are three centre forwards. One in Tammy Abraham is doing pretty well, but it's no secret Chelsea are absolutely in the market to get a new centre forward to bolster their attack and score more goals. So I wanted to do a video on this. I think there's a very good chance that Chelsea might have four first team strikers next season. That's right, four. Now that might sound like a lot, but it's not that unusual for Chelsea to have four. In the past, they've had up to five, which sounds crazy. So I'm going to run through the players that might still and might be on Chelsea's roster next season and express my thoughts and opinions on said players. So if you like joining me on the ride for Chelsea videos, make sure you are subscribed to Football Therapy. It is important, man. Most of you aren't subscribed. Do watch. Just click the button bell notifications icon as well that helps me out and if you really want to help me out why not like the video man yeah sweet all right let's get into it right i'm going to start off with armando brogia the 18 year old striker who's gonna be in chelsea's first team next season the teenager has recently signed a new long-term deal to be part of Chelsea's first team and has already made his first team debut in the Premier League of all competitions under Frank Lampard. Now, Brojo has been absolutely tearing it up in all the youth competitions. He's a big boy, he's a good all-round striker and by all accounts he is a lethal marksman. Across all youth competitions this season, Brojo has 25 goal involvements, mainly being goals of course, but he likes getting a few assists in there as well very very impressive considering how many games they've played throughout the youth competitions the club rate him highly frank lampard rates him highly he's already played him don't expect him to be the first choice striker next season but expect him to be floating around chelsea football club next up chelsea's number nine you may know him tammy abraham 22 year old full england international who wears the number nine shirt for chelsea football club obviously he went on two really really successful successful loan spells down in the championship, breaking records at both clubs respectively at both Bristol City and Aston Villa, struggled and had a bit of a learning experience at Swansea, he's come back with Chelsea and he's done pretty well. This season Tammy Abraham has 19 first team goal involvements across all competitions which is pretty impressive generally, probably been overplayed at times and probably it's, there's still question marks over Tammy Abraham in terms of can he be the man that the whole weight of the club lies on his shoulders. We're not so sure, but if you're a really objective person, you'll probably think that Tammy Abraham is going to develop and is going to get better. Certainly Frank Lampard feels that way. So, positive things to come. And yes, of course, Tammy Abraham will be around the first team next season. Next up, I want to talk about 33-year-old World Cup winner Olivier Giroud. Now, it would seem up to this point that he is absolutely out the door. No chance Giroud can carry on at Chelsea. He's only got two two first team goal involvements this season. Very, very early on when he had a couple of chances under Lampard, he looked pretty awful. And come January, he's recently admitted that he did absolutely everything to get out the door so he could play some football and actually agreed terms of a couple of clubs. It didn't happen. Frank Lampard was very good in terms of how he spoke about him. He brought him into the team in the last stages and he played very well. Obviously, look at the games against Liverpool and Everton where Chelsea won comprehensively in both games. Now, like I said, everyone's assuming Giroud's gone, he's quite old, he's sort of over the hill in many ways, but his agent has recently come out and said, look, he wanted to go, but things are changing, who knows, there's still a chance he might extend his contract at Chelsea. Presumably, this would obviously only be for 12 months, because that's all Chelsea would offer him. With Frank Lampard's recommendation and Giroud's desire, there is a small chance that Olivier Giroud will indeed renew his contract and be with Chelsea for one more season. It's possible. Next up, 24-year-old Moussa Dembele of Lyon and Chelsea's main and biggest so far transfer target, if you are to believe the rumours. Of course, Frank Lampard himself has talked about this player and how he is 
you know, a target. So essentially confirmed it, saying, yes, he is someone I'm thinking about. Now, Moussa Dembele is wanted by a lot of clubs, but apparently Leon have said Chelsea can have first refusal on the Frenchman. Leon are not the superpower they used to be in league 1, so it is impressive that Moussa Dembele has 18 goal involvements in the league this season already, a very healthy return indeed. And if you total up all his goal involvements across all competitions for Leon, that cranks up to 25 goal involvements. A lot more impressive than Tammy Abraham's 19, obviously playing in a lower level of competition and opposition, but still, that is very impressive from Moussa Dembele, and you can understand why Chelsea might want to buy him to be a different option. Uh, for next season and he could be one of the four strikers in my opinion. Next up the forgotten man Michy Batshuayi, the 26 year old Belgian who's had some iconic goals for Chelsea but it's just sort of floated in and out. Now this is another player most Chelsea fans would be like yeah good memories but to be honest man it's time to go Michy you've never really done it your goals to minutes ratio is still very good but he frustrates so many people always offside and generally his performances on the pitch even this season have been pretty poor. Saying that though in, in literally no game time at all Michy Batshuayi still, somehow still has seven goal involvements for the Chelsea first team this season. Uh, he does love a goal. At the end of the day, it, it's a weird paradox because you just want your strikers to score often. True, but in the modern game, they've got to do much, much more. Look at what Giroud does for the entire team. Batshuayi's work rate doesn't help the team defensively. It never has. He's not good in the defensive box in terms of, you know, what Giroud or Drogba. Even Costa could do defensively. You can't do any of that. He is strong. He can run in behind and he will chase loose balls. He's a good finisher, but he's frustrated for too long now. He hasn't necessarily been heavily linked with a move away, but you can imagine Chelsea probably wanting to cash in on the Belgium, whose contract is soon to end. And to be honest, he might have, you know, all the players, Lampard might be looking at Batshuayi, and even though he's played him a lot more than Giroud, he might see the value in Giroud now much more than Batshuayi, and I think Chelsea might try and make a few quid on Michy, because remember, he's 26 years old, he's entering his prime, he's in his prime, and he's a really good finisher, and he's a two-footed finisher as well. Someone will want Michy Batshuayi. Palace will want him, a Ligue 1 club will want him, you know, there's sort of loads of mid-tier Premier League teams that would start him every single game. So, I think Chelsea might sell Michy Batshuayi. So, I've talked about four strikers who are on Chelsea's books at the moment. And I wanted to talk about Moussa Dembele also because he has been heavily linked to Chelsea from French media, English media, and Frank Lampard's talked about him as well. I think he has been a target for Chelsea, actually, for a few years. Of course, there will be other alternatives in the transfer market, provided things go as usual. There's been talk about Luka Jovic, Lautaro Martinez, but until these stories really gain legs, I wanted to talk about the strikers on the books, how likely they are to remain at Chelsea, and also, I wanted to talk about Moussa Dembele just for the sake of this video. I've often talked about him on the channel with a sort of lack of inspiration but the truth is his numbers aren't bad at all he's very very young and he's a sort of similar tier striker to Tammy Abraham that could push him on and you know not necessarily make him think that Chelsea are getting an absolute top tier striker to just completely put him on the bench the thing is though Moussa Dembele could cost a lot of money if Chelsea can get him for 50 million that's a lot but perhaps it's not as much as you know, it was being speculated to be like a few months ago, people were talking about 80 million pounds, but if that goes down to 50 or something, it could probably be a really smart purchase because the striker himself is actually in demand across Europe. And like I said previously in the video, apparently Chelsea have first refusal. But anyway, what do you guys think about this story? Do you see Brogia getting decent game time in the Chelsea first team next season? I'm keen to get your thoughts on that. Do you think Giroud should extend for 12 months? A lot of Chelsea fans would like to see that. And also, do you think Michy Batshuayi's time is finished at Chelsea Football Club? And express your thoughts, of course, as well on Moussa Dembele. I'm keen to get everyone's opinions, so make sure you do get down in the comment section below. And of course, like the video if you've enjoyed the content. I'm still uploading daily throughout this lockdown isolation period to offer you guys content to keep you occupied. <laughs> anyway, feel free to follow me on social media as well, at Football Yannick. You lot enjoy the football that's not happening, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. 
outline my lines, I rap through thought Body bag the verse, outline the chalk In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I laugh me 